now we've opened our studio, we know what the panels are, uh, how do we make our studio in R do what we want it to do. So the console window is our direct way of communicating to R, but it is not necessarily our best way of communicating with R. It's in particular not our best way of communicating with R um, if we want to be able to repeat what we've done. So when you enter code into the console window, and I'm going to enter that two plus two again. If I want to do that again, I have to type in two plus two. If I want to store these commands that I'm giving R, one way to do that is through what is called an R script. To make an R script through your R Studio, you go up to the File tab at the upper left-hand corner of your screen, go to New File, and select R script. This will now open a, a window, another window, a fourth window, in that upper left-hand corner of your R Studio screen. This is your file where you can save all of these commands, and you can run these commands from this window. And so this is the integrated part of the R Studio environment, which is you have a window where you can be writing your, your computer code and then sending it straight to R, which then runs it and spits back the information in a way that that is easy for you to digest. One thing to know about an R script is that it is being saved as a plain text format. So it's not a Word document, it's not an Excel file. You can open it in any plain text editor. The other thing to know about an R script is that R Studio will try to run any line you write in here. So if I say I wanted to write myself some notes, um, this is my test file for class. Right now, you'll see all these things popping up and it's very confusing. This is because R Studio thinks you are writing R code right now. If you want to tell R Studio that you are not writing R code right now, or you're writing something that you wanted to ignore, you put a number sign in front. And now R Studio will ignore anything that is after that number sign. This is good if you want to be able to write yourself notes in class. So if you have just a, a series of lines of computer code in this R script, when you come back to this file a month from now, a week from now, a year from now, you may not be clear on why you're doing what you're doing. So that's tip number one about R scripts. Uh, tip number two is that we can write code in here, just like we wrote in the console window below, and we can execute them. And there's this run button right here. You hover over it, it says run the current line or selection. It'll run whatever line my cursor is on. Right now my cursor is on two plus two, and you can see that pop up down here in the console file. So it sends that information to R. Uh, if we want to save information, I can create some place where to store that in my script. I run that uh, line of code again. And what you see over here in the environment file now is that things are starting to show up in the, in the environment window. You see answer, which is what I had said I wanted to store this answer as, was answer, and there's the answer. And so as you run things in R, whatever you store or save will pop up over in this environment window, and you can inspect things there. And we'll see that in a minute when we load data, how that could be really useful for making sure that R is doing what you think it's doing.